only Canadian woman gymnast who's ever won a medal at a world championship. Mm -hmm. which certainly puts you in the running for a medal at the Olympics. Uh, is that something that you're thinking about? It's always in the back of my head. I mean, how can it not be? But right now, I'm just trying. I want to go home and I mean, I have to. We have to kind of calm down a bit because it's been such a crazy year. But at the same time, keep the intensity up. And like the, the Olympics are only two months away, so I just want to go home and train and work on my consistency because I have excellent training all the time. It's just I didn't always perform it uh, like I train it as like this week. So I mean, I want to work on my consistency and just I want to know that when I when I get to Beijing, I did everything I could to to be the best I can be at that particular moment, so. Now in Beijing, uh, you'll be looking at, uh, focusing on assume, on assuming on uh, your two best Bars and beam. beam. And bars. Yeah. Uh, will you be doing anything between now and when you go to Beijing to change those routines or add any new elements? The routines are basically going to stay the same. And in terms of how they would compare to uh, both being on board, how they would compare to what some of the top girls in the world are doing? How do they compare? They're, they're up there. I mean, obviously the Chinese are outstanding on both bars and beam, but if I just do my routine to the best of my ability, the best of my capability, then I have a good chance at making a final. And once you're in an Olympic final, anything can happen. So we're just going to push for that and see where it goes.